Hi, my name is Rajiv Sakhoja. You may call me Raj. I'm a consultant who's passionate about learning and teaching emerging technologies. Have you tried learning Hyperledger Fabric? If yes, then I'm sure you would agree that it is not easy to pick it up as it is complex and there are very few learning resources. To help developers and architects learn Hyperledger Fabric, I've published multiple online courses. These courses have been very well received by the Fabric community. In fact, many of the students from my current courses reached out to me and requested that I put together a course on Fabric Chain Code Development. So, here it is, my fourth course on Hyperledger Fabric, Mastering Hyperledger Fabric Chain Code Development using Golang. Let's talk about what students will learn in this course. After taking this course, students will be able to design and develop fabric network applications from end to end. They will be able to develop chain code using Go language and build the front-end applications using Fabric Node SDK. Based on their application's needs, students will be able to leverage the chain code and fabric concepts such as private data collections, rich queries, asset history, access and authorization control, and many more. Students will use standard Golang testing packages and fabric mock stuff for automating the testing of their chain code. Course will start with the installation of the fabric development environment and tools. The project repository that students will download have the installation scripts that automate the installation process and hence help the students move quickly through the setup process without dealing with the common installation issues. Each section on chain code development focuses on specific fabric concept. Sections start with an overview of the concept then provide a walkthrough of the chain code that leverages the concept under discussion. Each section also has quizzes and hands-on exercises that students are encouraged to try out on their own. And solution for these exercises are covered in the lecture so that there is continuity. Once the student is comfortable with the chain code development, we will shift our focus on application or the front-end development. Section on front-end development starts with a discussion on the fabric application patterns and then shows the student how to implement front-end applications using Fabric SDK for Node. One important point, this course is not for you if you're interested in learning how to design and set up fabric networks. For that, please look at my other courses. Hope to see you in the class. Happy learning and thank you for showing interest in my course on Hyperledger Fabric Chain Code Development using Go Language.